the action. You're looking for every at, I'm positive. Standing there's always more than one choice. That's right. For every positive, there can become a negative. But you know what you do? You put positive after positive. Not two steps forward, three steps back. You know? Take it day by day. Just because they want to sit down and smoke their pot or they want to sit down and do their drugs, don't mean you got to do it. Nobody forces you to do it. Well, I smoke my pot, but that's it. We're still hanging out. Hey, Nufi, sorry man, interrupt. Hey, can you guys just bring on just, just a touch? I just, just want to, is it okay if I, is it yeah, okay if I'm sure. you, man? Nufi, man, I, it's been a real, I feel it's been an honor, man. You came by and stopped, you know, and you yeah. came and we didn't know what to expect and you came and we got you jammed with us. Yes, you were rhyming, you were rhyming. But I find it really touching why you came here, man, and I want to share that with people. Can you tell me a little bit about, you know, why you're here in Edmonton well, right now? the reason why I'm in Edmonton right now is to find a young girl in which I lost that stuck by my side through the drug trade and everything else. Like, I mean, I got acquitted of two counts of murder and everything else. I was involved with the Red Alert. I was involved with eight dogs. I was involved with triads. I was involved with every fucking gang in Edmonton and Vancouver. My dad ended up passing away and everything else. I mean, I was so addicted to the drugs and the heroin and everything else that I didn't really give a shit because my mental aspect wasn't there. That's what changed my life. When I get acquitted, man, and you're sitting down here day after day, night after night, are they really your buddies? Are they really gonna no. stand by? No. Are they really gonna stand by your side, kid, when you go to jail? No. Are they gonna put money in your account? Are they gonna put a roof over your head? No. Are they gonna pay your bills? You know what they care about? Themselves. They only care what they can benefit from you. Yeah. Okay, where can I get my next draw of weed? Well, this guy got money. Maybe I can use him to get some money to get my draw of weed. Yeah. They only care what they can benefit for themselves. How are they benefiting by doing that? They're benefiting by your spending your own hardware and work money. They're benefiting by getting you high so you can get more. That's all they care about. They only care about themselves. Never stop to think. They only care about themselves. They're only out to help themselves. When you meet someone, do me one favor for the next day or so. What? I'll treat you. Stop and think for 30 seconds. Are they going to benefit me or are they going to hurt me? And then you'll, then you'll finally realize after three days, are they going to benefit me in a positive way and help me get ahead in life? Or are they going to hurt me and bring me down? Because we've got to stop and ask yourself when you meet someone new. Are they going to stop and help me? Or are they going to hurt me? How am I going to benefit? How, how is that? Hang on. I just met you. The way I look at you right now is the same way I look at everybody else. How is he going to benefit? Is he going to do anything to help me? Or is he, or is, is he going to try to hurt me? Not that, yeah. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. That's when you make a decision. Should I hang around with this guy? Or should I walk away from this guy? Let him go do his own thing. Let him become an addict. Let him become a, a crackhead or a heroin addict or a weed junkie or a weed dealer, whatever. Let him do that. But guess what? In six months' time, when you make that right decision, and, I, and I'm telling you, you make that right decision. He's the one that's inside that jail looking out at you while you're sitting down enjoying the summer with a beautiful broad on your arm, man. Yeah. You're the one going to the beach, going swimming. Or that guy's in there eating fucking crap dinner, whatever the jail feeds you. Yeah. You know, you gotta, you gotta stop and think. Man. Oh my god, you're fucking right now. Hey, Nufi, um, thank you for that. Um, can I ask you one more question? Can you tell me a little bit more about, about Leslie and, and about, you know, why you, why you, why you, why you, girl from Northwest Territories that took off when I got, when I got caught for murder. She took off because she was afraid of the gang life, the retaliation, and everything else, and she went to Northwest Territories with her family. Now that I'm home and I've been clean for five and a half months and I got my own company and I got my life put back together in five and a half months. Knock on wood. Yeah. And I got, I got 20 guys fully employed, my own company, vehicles, everything all going good. And now I figured I'd give her the opportunity and try to help her and change her life. How many more days do you have left before you go uh, back? I'm out to 20 at, at a little after midnight. Yeah. So today's the 14th, so I got about six days left. Six days left in that... It's wicked, brother. Dude, man, it's been a total honor to meet you, brother. The then I jump back into the company, running the whole show. Yeah. Hiring, firing, jobs starting, jobs finishing, customers, clients. I got 860 homes, Remax to do. Siding the windows, the floors, the doors. Imagine. A year ago, I was in jail for murder, man. A year ago, man, I was in jail for murder. Just how many years ago, I was in jail. That close to being convicted of murder, man, for 10 years of my life, gone. Ten years gone. Yeah. No chance of seeing outside. No chance of being with a woman. No chance of having a beer, having a barbecue, sitting down and enjoying this day with you guys playing these drums. Yeah. That's true. That's and it only real. takes to be in the wrong place at the wrong time. Yeah. You're guilty by association. I used to be a full patch gang member. Nufi, I got one question. One last question for you. If you were to take all this, like, all this goodness that you're sharing, 
you know, and sum it up as like, you know, a couple, a couple words or a couple like just a direction or just, you know, some kind try of like... Try to people fix the mistakes in which they made. Try to point them in the right direction. Always try to do three positive things a day. Three uh, positive things a day. Good. You guys are youths on the street, whatever, involved with this and involved with that. Write down three positive things. Tomorrow I'm going to go look for a job. Tomorrow I'm going to go look for my own apartment. Tomorrow I'm going to stay away from them idiots that do drugs. Mm -hmm. I'm going to find myself an apartment, I'm going to find myself that job, I'm going to put myself back on the right track. Then when you get paid from that job, money is a trigger. What do you do? Put your money in the bank so you can carry plastic. Every time you open your wallet, I'm broke. Mm -hmm. Every time you open your wallet, if you got a pocket full of money, you don't care about spending it. Yeah. But if you got a pocket full of plastic, you don't want to spend that. Look, buddy, I'm broke. <laughs> I could uh, use that advice. <laughs> I'm broke, man. You know? Like, look at the life you can have, man. Look at these guys. They're driving nice cars. Everybody driving by some nice cars. You know? Hey, Nufi. Can I make one last request? Just yes. for all my friends who might see this. How'd you feel about just... Just, you know... I say a lot in a person, you know? How'd you well, feel about I'm, just... I'm being straight there? forward honest Yeah, no, no, I know, I know, I know. Dedication pays off. I know, brother. I just want, I just want them to see your, you know, your beautiful bright. face, man. Hey, how's it going? All right, man. Nufi, thanks again, man. That was